Hello, uh, this video is about the um, uh, Corbus Ethercalc integration that we're working on. Just wanted to show off a little bit how it works and where we're going. It's not totally in production ready yet. We have some pending issues, but let's have a look at what it is and then I'll comment on, on how, uh, how the future plans are. Uh, you can install this module from the repository. It's here in our Tesoluzio spreadsheet uh, 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 GitHub account. And uh, once you have it installed, here in the Tools menu, you'll get a new uh, module, which basically holds all of the spreadsheets that you will be creating uh, as you work with the project. Uh, it's not really, you don't have to do anything here, actually unless you want to open the sheet from here from this link over here on the action panel on the right but this module uh, basically auto manages itself uh, uh, it does all the work for you in the background it uh, saves the records you want the fields of the records you want to s that you want to edit in a, in a map which is also generated automatically but you can edit and you can kind of fine-tune any map that you need if you need to okay but basically that all just works by itself once you install the spreadsheet module you have to come over here to the business actions module and create two business actions. I created both of them for the contacts module. It's this one, the spreadsheet edit JS and the spreadsheet edit action. Let's have a quick look. Basically, the spreadsheet edit J JavaScript it loads the JavaScript you need to get the buttons working. I'll show that for you in a minute. And you just have to load this uh, script here. Uh, one of the th things that is pending is to do this in integrations and make it easy to activate and deactivate like all the, all the other things but at the moment is you have to do it manually so it's just this uh, load this on the module you want I'm loading it on contacts and the other one is this uh, JavaScript spreadsheet edit uh, function which loads the module and the object uh, the button itself this is a list view basic button okay so that means that uh, if I go to contacts module I have here this spreadsheet edit button here okay so uh, what happens now is that I can actually uh, edit let's let's get a few let me see today's birthday oh, this is nice okay <coughs> for example we have here the reports to another phone is empty so I'm gonna fill in uh, some of these phones and probably change the title so we can see that it's actually working. I'm just going to select a couple, or yeah, just just two, and uh, and we hit the the button. This in the background will create um, the record in the spreadsheet module, the map with all the columns, create this uh, spreadsheet for us, and load all of the columns, all of the records that we just selected. As you can see, I have all of the information here. I can fill in here. This is just a spreadsheet. What's really nice is that as a spreadsheet, you can kind of jump around and change things wherever you need to. So if you want to change the, what was the other one? Uh, the finance manager was there. So we can add like 33 here or whatever you need to add. You can see that we have all of the fields, all of the columns, fields, columns. So it's really nice because you can kind of mass edit the functionality uh, the mass mass edit uh, jumping around kind of not record by record but from you know if you want to do all an update on all of the columns it's a lot easier we support the uh, pick list which we get from there we also support the this reports too uh, if I start writing here I don't know SC you can see that it actually brings over the the list of, of contacts. This is the contact module, and this is a contact, so it's relating contacts with contacts. So I can actually uh, select uh, the contacts here in, in a kind of autocomplete way. This is also one of the pending issues because now the way we're doing it is basically sending all of the contact information over, which is kind of heavy, especially if you have a lot of contacts or a lot of accounts or whatever is the related module. Uh, so one of the things which I will explain, I uh, will go over them later, is that we have to fix this. Besides that, uh, the rest is just a normal spreadsheet, so you could do formulas, you can do whatever you want, and it's a really nice way of of kind of mass editing and tweaking things if you have to jump around. Another good pos another good thing is that uh, Ethercalc is um, multi-user, so you could actually share this link with somebody else, and you could both work on it. 
and save the records uh, you know uh, concurrently which is really nice uh, to get this working you have to install uh, Ethercalc obviously that can be done basically by just downloading the image on Docker oops wrong from our Corboss account which is this one Corboss Ethercalc okay so you just download this into a Docker you Docker pull uh, boot it up and then you come into your core bus. You have to go over here to the global variables, and you'll find a new one, which is Ethercalc URL. You create this one, and you point uh, your core bus to the URL of the Docker machine that you just booted up. Uh, anyway, uh, I will create a specific uh, blog post and uh, about explaining all of these things, besides the documentation, which will add to the wiki for all those kind of those features. Uh, if we save here clicking on this button up over here on the left which we added to Ethercalc it should uh, save the information record save successfully so if we go back to the contacts module and now we have the reports and if we reload this page you see that it actually reselected this person here and changed these things so really kinda nice functionality what's missing and what's coming um, here on the on the project I added a couple of issues uh, adding records. Adding records works. If I add a record here and I start typing in uh, whatever, uh, you know, just kind of this uh, whatever here and whatever here, and I fill in the values, uh, that works. It creates as long as the first column is empty, uh, it uh, will create the record. And uh, what's missing is basically to add a button, make it a little easier because if we add a button, we can copy the, um, the pick list and the autocompletes and the like to make it easier. Now you have to kind of just add it in yourself, which is kind of a uh, I mean it works but it's it's a little it, it has to be uh, fixed with the button the UE type 10 autocomplete basically these instead of sending all of the information over we have to actually kind of limit it I was thinking of doing something like if there's 100 uh, or less uh, related entities then we can just send them over but if there's more than 100 kind of just uh, do a web service so you can get call your core boss and get the, them dynamically which would be the correct thing to do. Uh, activate per module, which uh, instead of having to go to the business actions doing that, we have to do the concurrent record editing. That's also very important. I was saying that uh, Ethercalc is multi-user, so you can have more than one person working on this sheet and saving, and that all works good. <coughs> but if you have the two sheets with the same record, and people working on both of them then you have the problem where one could actually uh, overwrite the work of the other person so we have to control somehow to do that it's written here we got it here and now the real blocker uh, to go into production is the UTF-8 character support uh, that is totally missing because of a bug that was introduced in a dependency in Ethercalc itself which they're trying to fix and uh, until they fix it, we, are, you, we can't actually edit any special characters, uh, you know, accents and the like, which is very, very limiting, obviously. So we have to control that, and until that, I wouldn't recommend going into production unless it's really, really controlled environment and you know what you're doing. But, um, but anyway, the basic functionality is here, and it's nice. It's a very powerful little extension, which we'll finish in the next few weeks or so and uh, I just wanted to show you how that looks and let you know if you can give me some feedback and test it and know how it's going thanks for watching